Okay, this is our first video about uh, integration using some trig identities. Okay, uh, this this will look at certain um, trig identities in this uh, short series of videos. Now you might have uh, access to a formula sheet that you use perhaps day to day or on exams and so on. Perhaps it looks like this or the trig section looks like that. And I just want to draw your attention to um, some particular identities. Uh, the first one there in the green, uh, 10 squared a plus 1 equals sec squared a. We'll be making use of that one um, and just it's also useful if we do a, a simple rearrangement where we've got 10 squared a as the subject. So that would be as uh, sec squared a minus 1. Alright, the next one, uh, the purple one there. So cos 2a equals 1 minus 2 sine squared a. Okay, so we'll also be making use of that one. So we'll be re rearranging it. So rearranging it, um, I'm talking two, making two sine squared a initially the subject. So two sine squared a would equal one minus cos two a. And sine squared a would be half of 1 minus cos 2a. Like so. And uh, likewise the orange one uh, with the orange arrow um, we could rearrange that one as well and we'd have initially 2 cos squared a equals cos 2a plus 1. So make note of those, uh, we will be using them. Oh, and I nearly forgot the last step on this one. Um, jump the gun there a little bit. And like above, just halving. There we go. That's, that's what we want. Sometimes we'll be using um, the other identities on occasion. For example, the product identities. Occasionally, sometimes they're very convenient. And even though they look like they're expanding things out a great deal, going from the left side to the right side, with certain values of A and B, um, this can greatly simplify things. So just be open to, in fact, any of the ones on here, but the, the, the three of the arrows are the main players. So examples of where this is beneficial to use, uh, well, when it's beneficial to use these identities, um, might be for something like if we consider the integral of cos squared x dx and so using what we had sorted out just before we've got we could say it's um, with the half constant outside of the integral we can say it's 1 plus cos 2x which is actually easier to integrate and you've seen before uh, the integral of sine and cos of ax so it's simply a half sine to x Okay, um, being very particular with my constants there, and um, so we would have, I'm just going to put the trig term first, a quarter sine <coughs> 2x plus x on 2 plus c2. 
The second one of three examples, we've got a definite integral this time. So between 0 and pi, the integral of 2 sine squared 3x dx. Okay, so perhaps more demanding than the first example. All right, but there are some things we know about integration, so we'll pull a constant outside first of all. Now using our purple identity there with the purple arrow, so uh, sine squared a equals a half outside of 1 minus cos 2a. Now, if a is 3x, 2a is 6x, double that real value there. Okay, so again, that half can go outside the integral. So we have 2 times a half, which is just 1. So we just have the integral from 0 to pi of 1 minus cos 6x, which is not so tough, dx. Well, let's go do that now. So we have x minus one sixth sine x. The integral of cos is sine. From zero to pi. Subbing our values in now, so uh, we have pi minus one sixth sine six pi and we have zero minus one sixth sine of six by zero, which is zero. Now it's getting easy. Now here we've got in the first term, or the first pair of terms there, pi minus 1 6 of sine 6 pi, or 6, 6 pi is coterminal with 2 pi, which is coterminal of 0, so that is just pi. And the second set of terms here, 0 take 1 6 of sine 0, sine 0 is 0, 0 take 0 is 0, so it's just pi. So the third and final example here, the integral of tan squared x. Now, on a, in an earlier video, you see what you can see here in purple. Um, we saw that the integral of sec squared something, or in this case ax plus b, is 1 on a tan ax plus b plus c. And that's from an earlier video. And um, we can actually apply the identity above and that information in purple together to sort this out. And this one is an indefinite integral, so it's an antiderivative. So we don't have any limits on this one. So the green arrowed identity from early in this video, tan squared a equals sec squared a minus one. So this is the integral of sec squared x minus 1 dx. Which is tan x, where we use the purple stuff now. Minus x plus c. So once we use a synthesis of an earlier integration result and the uh, information from the formula sheet, it's quite easy.